Hey guys, what's good? How you doing? I hope you are doing well. Welcome to the channel. If you are new to this channel and if you are, please consider subscribing. I will appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed for stopping by. Thank you very much indeed for clicking. I want to show you what we got here. This printer is HP Deskjet 377. Excuse me, 3755. This printer is multifunctional printer. It's multitask, three in one if you like. In the sense you can copy, scan, and print from this printer. This printer is one of the world's smallest all-in-one printer with 5.4 inch tall uh, and seven inch deep and 15.8 wide. This printer is using ink cartridges 65 or 65 extra. This printer is actually sent to us from US. So I'm doing this review for US audience or if you reside in a country that use this printer, we don't actually have this printer here in UK. But I, if you check my video, we unbox this printer, connected it to Wi-Fi network. The difference really is, is using two pin, okay, ink. But the one I'm using here, this is the ink cartridges that came with it. Okay, so, but what I'm using is three pin power cable. So I, the power cable is pretty much is universal, okay? So the one I'm using is actually, I, I think it's probably from one of my HP printer, okay? So this is the ink, uh, the cut, um, power cable that came with it, two pin for US, okay? But the one I'm using, like I said, is three pin power cable. This printer now is connected to Wi-Fi network. We installed the ink, here is the ink cartridges, it's using 65 and if you open it up the ink cartridges holder will come from this end to the center for you to change it check my video we we'll see how we install the ink okay so basically also check my video to show you how to complete alignment head you need to make sure you complete alignment here so that this printer will function properly i want to show you this is the alignment head what it looks like so you need to key in the numbers on your mobile device okay and once you're done it will show you that the alignment is successful and also this is information about network setup check my video you see how we set up the network and once you set this printer up fine it will tell you no problem congratulations that, that you successfully set up your printer i want to also tell you about information about a lot of people want to know about Instant Ink. Instant Ink is a subscription service, okay? The essence of it is you choose, you select a plan, okay, in a month, number of pages of documents you want to print out from your printer. You can select 10 pages, 50 pages, 100 pages, 300 pages, or 700 pages, but it is a, a fee. This printer, at the moment, you got four months Instant Inks, free Instant Ink, okay? Once your ink is about to run out, HP will send ink to your home address. They will not wait for the ink to run out completely. So once the ink is very low to the point, they will send ink to your home address. Like I said earlier, is with a fee. 10 pages start from $0.99 or one pound, sorry, $1.25 Canadian dollar. Okay, 50 pages start from $3.99 or $5.49 Canadian dollar. 100 pages start from $5.99 or $7.49 Canadian dollar. 300 pages is $11.99 or $13.99 Canadian dollar. 700 pages a month is $24.99 or $28.99 Canadian dollar. You get started with four months of instant trial. This printer, if you want to redeem this, you need to do this within seven days If you have, when you set your printer up, okay? Within seven days of setting your printer up, then you need to go to HP Instant Ink website, and this is the HP Instant Ink. How to get to this is you can do this using your mobile device. Only what you need to do is select the ink. Once you select the ink, it will bring out the information you need for you to set up, okay? You can see HP Deskjet, okay? Three, seven, 3700 all in one series, okay. Based on your printer, okay, you can select two pound 29. This is the UK plan, could save you up to 70% on ink. So you set up and forget 
about the ink never worried about running out of ink okay you can see try instant ink you click on it then it will take you to the website how to register this okay how it work you save up to 70 percent on original ink no commitment or annual fee avoid trip to the store or contactless so the ink will be delivered to your home address you can change pause or cancel your plan anytime okay start smart replacement never run out of ink recycle service in included so with this printer now four months on us free okay so you can see with this one is four months after the three months ink service plan will start okay to kick in okay ink shipment and prepare recycling envelope are included okay so once they send you ink then you send the you send the the recycle one back to hp okay so basically what i want to show you is how to scan a document with this printer now is what you want to do okay is the next thing on the list to scan a document with this printer the, the thing you need to do is we need to go back okay and uh, can see this printer now this is the hp printer and you show you it's ready you will see a green good mark tick Okay, to show you that this printer is ready okay the ink is by the corner here and what we want to do is to scan a document and this is the printer scanner you can see copy so you select from the app yeah from this app you can see printable shortcut mobile fast camera scan help and support print photo print document printer scanner and copy we want to select printer scanner and but before we do that you need to make sure you select the document you want to scan okay so this is the document for instance we want to scan yeah this is the document we want to scan okay and to scan a document you need to make sure your document is facing up okay so this is the document we want to scan and to scan a document now it's asking us we need to create hp i, can, I have a hp account so i'm going to sign in to my hp account so now this printer is going to sign in to my hp account okay so put your email address i have my email address already so i'm going to put my email address okay click enter okay now you put your password okay click enter here we go so now you can save this okay let's select the button to below to proceed so select the select here to proceed okay so it's this printer now is loading inside my hp accounts okay or my hp web uh, accounts basically okay you can see connected to printer service okay so you can select accept all so accept all okay and here we go so once you're done you can see this Sc printer scanner okay is taking place so what we need to do now is place content on the scanner and press start from the mobile device so to scan okay press the content here okay this is how to put you need to make sure the information is facing upwards okay and the next you need to do is select if it's a photo you want to scan then you change it to photo okay but what we are scanning is document select document okay now select you can also select source but this printer if it's printer that is that got um adf then you select source but this is the scanner okay so select start scan and when you are scanning you also need to make sure you put the printer you put the document Okay, here we go. You can see it's scanning now. Okay, so this is how to scan your document. Okay, you can see this is the document scan. Okay, now the other thing I want to tell you is if you are happy with it okay so you can see you select full page so this is the document we scan if you want to scan the second page okay the next to, thing to do is for instance you put another document okay here 
if you want to scan another document okay put it here okay and again click next okay so this is the first one if you want to if you want to scan another one click add okay if you click add so you select add do the same thing again start to scan here we go make sure you put the documents so that it will pick it up properly okay you can see click next to adjust this is the document this is the first one and second one okay page one this is page two so these are the documents we scan okay now if you want to print th this document out okay you can print it out share shortcut save it so you can save this document okay by clicking save yeah if you, want, you can also print it out by printing print out now i want to us to print this document out select print okay so it's processing now if you want to change the color okay to print this document out we want to print it out black and white okay i mean colored now select print so we're going to print this document okay how many copies if you want to print two or three then you need to change copies to number of copies you want okay you can see now we want to only print one but if you want to print like two then you need to change the copy use plus or minus sign to change the copy number of pages we want to print page one to two okay now color we want to print color if you want to print black and white then you need to change it to black and white it will change the color so now what we want to do is print it black and white and the paper source okay if you use select the paper so the paper source can be any can be letter three we loaded a4 paper here okay orientation can be automatic then you select for more option then quality okay automatic can select best normal if you want but the quality is automatic scaling fit to page once you've done all this then you go back okay and select print this is where to print select print here and it will start to print okay so this document now is printing you can also select if you want it to be quieter okay then you select quiet mode okay if you want to select this printer to be quiet quieter you can go and select quiet mode here we go very quick and the second page is going to so this is the page one okay we just need to wait a size patient so that the second page will print okay now it's, it's, te it's telling us something is blocked okay so once you check it also press here we go if the light is if the light is flashing you just need to arrange the paper and also click press the resume and the job will start again okay and on your mobile device is also telling you sending paper so now it's printing so this information you'll be seeing this information on your mobile device as well here we go very fast so this is the document we scan okay and printed it out colored okay you can see the color if you want to change the color to black and white you can print out black and white so this is how to scan your document print it out i want to show you also how to send email this document we scan now okay to send it to somebody your family or your employer or any friend or anybody you want to send this document okay the next thing you need to do is select share okay now once you select share okay and it will tell you the date of this document is scanned the next thing you need to do is select language image type okay image type make sure the document is change the image to basic pdf if you send it jpj then that means it's photo photo is usually jpj make sure the document you are sending is pdf if it's a document okay so by scrolling down arrow and change it you can see plain text word 
document pdf searchable just basic pdf i will select then language okay select your language as english if it's spanish or any other language then you select but this language document is in english and the size so you, you can reduce the size the actual size is 7 0.7 mb so you can reduce the size to medium medium or small if you reduce the size it will make the document okay to be sent easily attachable to your inbox for you to be able to send it okay if, you, if the document is so large you might not be able to attach it so i usually go with medium okay so that it's easy for the document to attach to your email and for you to be able to send it and once you select all these features select share once you select share it will give you the platforms for you to share this okay you can share this to epson smart panel outlook whatsapp okay so by scrolling sideways hp print service scrolling sideways or even via bluetooth then you give you see the option for you so these are the platforms you can share this document with but i want to share this document to my inbox sending it back to myself select my email which is outlook okay now this document is going to be attached to my inbox and here it is is attached to my inbox okay the next you need to do you need to type the subject hi now type the information you want to send to person hello okay then put the email address of the person i'm like i said i'm going to send this back to my myself okay so i'm sending this to my myself okay click send and this document now is sent to my self okay now the next unit our job here is pretty much done you just need to go back okay if you go back if you want to save it select save now select save then you select where you want to select the type again basic pdf where do you want to save this document okay you say save it and this document now is save okay select save is save on my download and the, the document we sent to my inbox is already landed i can see it so I'll go back to my inbox this is my email address okay and this note to save click it open okay this is the document we sent to my inbox arrive click it open basically tdf and it's opening up here we go this is the document sent to my inbox you can see it we scan this document share it printed it out save it and now send to my inbox if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel smash like and share share this document or information this tutorial to somebody else that it will help okay Thank you. Sending you love from UK. Peace. Thanks.